Hey, what's up guys? VFX Bro here and got an awesome new template for you guys. Super easy to use, but I'm going to run through a few of the settings here just in case there was a little bit of confusion. So we got here our template and you see this text here with a little bit of direction. And what I'm going to do right now is grab this clip and drag it right into here. And for those of you that don't know what tilt shift is, it's a lens that allows you to alter your footage uh, to make it look as though it's kind of like a miniature set and so we can fake that here in After Effects with this Tilt Shift plugin and so we just dragged our footage into here don't worry about turning off this text uh, because it's automatically going to be removed when we move to our Make Adjustments composition so after that footage has been inserted there we can move to our Make Adjustments layer here and you can see that we've already got a filter added on top of this uh, we can adjust it here in our controller once we click on our controller, we're just going to click on our effects. And you can see here that we have all of these different uh, settings that can be changed. Now we've got our distort amount, we've got our blur amount, we've got our softness. And so what I'm going to do here is just give you a quick look at what's actually going on. If for those of you who don't want to know the, all the details behind it, really all you need to know is that the amount of blur that you can have on the sides can be changed by this number right here. So we can change it to 50 and it's going to be super blurry a little too much in my opinion or we can bring that down to 18 and that blur is going to be softened another thing that you really want to know is we can change the position that our blur is happening so we have our left point and our right point here if we click on our right point we have this little dot right here and let's say we wanted the blur to start here on this part of the street we could start it there then we could click on our left point and make it go from here to there. So really quickly that's how you use it. Your footage is going to be sped up automatically uh, through this template so when we render, render through it we can see that our footage is being sped up. So I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on what's actually going on here. We can see here we have our blur mat and if I were to turn that on and actually turn the background off we can see this is where the blur is being added to. And now if I were to go into our controller here um, I could change the softness and the softness is going to adjust uh, the feathering that our shot is going to go from in focus to out of focus. So for this shot somewhere probably around 40 would have been something I would have gone with. And now we've got our left and our right point. Now the cool thing about this template is that we're actually going to be adding distortion to our shot just like a real tilt shift lens does. So if I were to turn this back layer back on and it's a still shot and if I were to adjust the focus from one part to the other um, this is what would happen. Let's say I go to my first frame here and I want my focus to start off right around here so I'm going to keyframe my left point I'm going to keyframe my right point and with my right point selected I'm going to drag it out to go here and you can see as I move this around the lens is being distorted. Kind of trippy but similar to what actually happens with the real tilt shift lens. So now I'm going to take my left point and I'm also going to move it right around there. And now I can move forward to this part and I'm going to change my focus point. So I have my left here and I'm actually going to focus now on this area back here and then I'm going to take my right point and I'm going to focus on this area right here. So now all of these buildings here are in focus. And now if I were to turn this blur mat off, I'm going to bring up my softness a little bit. I'm going to try 65 and I'm going to change the blur amount to 15. Now I'm going to go ahead and render through this, see what we've got. So pretty cool. We can see now as our focal point changes, we get this distortion in the lens that really mimics the actual effect that you would see in a tilt shift lens. Until next time, take care.